Hey everybody, this is Melville with Tech Running 24 7 and in today's video, we want to show you how to set up multiple email accounts on your new 11 inch iPad Pro 2020. Now as you can see, we have our iPad Pro here and the first thing we want to look, uh, look for is our general email icon and the general email icon would be this particular one here. We're going to go ahead and open it up real quick and once it's open you can look up here at the top it says inbox and this is only reflecting one email account now when it has multiple email accounts you'll end up seeing different names here and where you can jump into each so we're gonna close out of this real quick and then we're gonna to go to our settings and so once you go to your settings you need to uh, scroll down to where you would see password and accounts so tap on password and accounts and if you notice here, it shows about setting up a uh, iCloud account. And now the account we have currently on the iPad is our Gmail account. Underneath it says add account. Go ahead and tap on that. Now the account we want to set up right now is a Google, another Google account. So Google is Gmail. So we tap on Google. And then it asks us a question. We're gonna take, we're gonna say continue. And now it's asking for us to uh, put the new account's email address in in here. And once we have the email address in, we would hit next. Then it's asking for the password. Now when we have the password in, we hit next. And then it's asking us, do we want to use, uh, turn on the contacts, calendars, and notes. We're going to turn off the contacts, but we're going to keep the email and calendar. So hit save. And once you hit save, now it's showing that we have two email accounts in here. We have Gmail in here, and we have Tech Running 24-7. So now that we have two email accounts in here, let's go ahead and add a third, just to uh, show you something a little different. We're gonna hit add account. This time we're gonna add a Yahoo account. Now the email account I want to add is actually AT&T, but AT&T uses Yahoo for their email accounts. So we wanna put the, the email account in here. And so even though it says AT&T.net, we're putting it in through Yahoo, and that's how they set it up. We'll hit next. And then it throws us into the uh, Yahoo account. And they want us to re-put the email address in there one more time. And so now we have the same email address back in there, which was melvin7474 at att.net. And again, like we said, Yahoo, uh, AT&T uses not Yahoo to set up their email accounts. And so we have our password in, and now we're going to hit sign in. And once we hit sign in, it took it. As you see, it still says Yahoo. And it asking us, do we want the uh, contacts, calendars? We're gonna turn off reminders. And then we're gonna hit save. So as you can see, it has Gmail account. It has tech running 24 seven at Gmail and it has Yahoo. So we're gonna swipe out of this and we're gonna go back to our general email icon and now you see it says all inboxes. Now it says Gmail, Tech Running 24 7, and then Yahoo. And so each one of those are representative. So if it was just a plain Gmail, it shows it here. And Tech Running 24 7, that's it there. And then Yahoo, that's the email for it. Or you can look at the total inboxes here. Now what I want to do though, 
So looking at this, it's kind of confusing since it says Gmail, then Tech Run 24 seven, then Yahoo. What I like to do is go back and redefine what Gmail is and redefine what Yahoo is. And so we're gonna close out of this real quick and then we're gonna go back into our settings and going back to our settings, going back to the password and accounts and still, and then we're gonna tap up here where it says Gmail. Now the Gmail account really is for, it says mouse T6111. And so what we want to do is tap that arrow right here and go in and show it shows that in the description just says Gmail. So we want to change the description to the actual name of the account. So saying Gmail, we want to call it Miles T. And so we have Miles T there in, for the description now. We had done and then we hit the back arrow on accounts and so it's still is saying mile excuse me and still is saying gmail now it says miles t we're going to do the same thing for uh, tech running 24 7 we're going to take out the uh, gmail.com on that and we hit that and then we go up here and then we hit this here and of course tech running 24 7 and then the description says tech running 24 7 at gmail now what we want to do is take that out we're going to back that out and we're going to just call it tech running 24 7. So in other words, we were, we're just naming each email account by their own name. So that says take running 24 seven hit done. Then we get back up here where accounts is. And when we hit account and now we see miles T take running 24 seven. And now we want to go to Yahoo. Tap on the Yahoo account. Now Yahoo account, of course, was Melvin7474 at ATT.net. So we want to tap on that arrow right here and go into it. Again, it says Melvin Thompson email Melvin7474 at ATT.net and then description Yahoo. So we want to change the description. And we're just gonna make it Melvin 7474 then we hit done then we go back up here and hit accounts and now as you see we have miles T take around 24 7 and Melvin 7474 now we're gonna go back to a general email account icon and so now if we look at the top of it. Now it looks so much better. It has inbox, all inbox. And so you can hit that and see all the inbox, all the incoming emails for all three of the accounts. Hit inboxes, well, hit, hit mailboxes back. Or we can just look at Miles T at those emails here. Go back or hit Tech Runner 24 7, those emails there. Or hit Melvin7474 at those emails there. So to me, this looks so much better to actually call them by names. And again, see what we mean by general email of mailbox is that we have Miles T, which is at Gmail. Then we have Tech Running 24 7, which is at Gmail. But then again, we have Melvin7474, which is ATT through Yahoo there. And so you can have multiple accounts. So we just have three. You can have six if you want to, if you have that many email accounts that you need to keep track of. So that's about it for our video for today. How to set up multiple email accounts on your new 11 inch iPad Pro 2020. So hopefully we shared something that you can use and something that was beneficial. If so, be sure to hit the uh, subscribe button down below and hit the uh, bell icon too. So you can be notified of new content as soon as we release it. And again, this is Melvin with Tech Runner 24-7, bringing you technology that's on the move. Thanks.